Hey everybody, we are in Saranda, Albania today in a local restaurant, bakery, and we are trying out some traditional Albanian desserts. We've got two to try out here today. We're trying out this, which is called Kumeshtor. It's called Kumeshtor. And this second dessert is called Kadaif. What's it called? Kadaif. It's very loud in this restaurant, so we might have to... So we got to talk over the voices All oh, the voices, I'm yeah. I'm hoping you can hear me. It's obviously a very popular spot. We're going to start with this, I guess, which from what I understand is um, phyllo pastry and some vanilla and uh, some dairy or cream. And it looks like it's coated with honey. Mm. Very good, just like uh, a pastry with a filling, almost like a, kind of a pudding consistency in the middle. That's very good. It's sweet. It's very good, it's very light, and it's sweet, I found it sweet, but it's, um, it's like a, a milky custard, it's good. I like that. That's good. Okay, I'm going to try the other one. This is the Kadif. And this is Philo Dom. I'll shred it. It's weird texture with the shredded, but a lot of honey or syrup or something. It's like a little bird nest. And it's wrapped around nuts. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of honey on there. It's like a... Mm -hmm. In a way it's like baklava. Only made, like it's rolled, all the old nuts and stuff are rolled into this bird nest phyllo dough. It's good. It's a lot of, it's a lot of honey. Very sweet. I'll let you taste it. Is that a thumbs up? Yeah. I like this. It's a weird texture. You have to get over the texture in your head. If you're a texture person, you wouldn't like this. Mm. But it's good. I'll let you try these. Try it now. Yeah, this does look like angel hair. Like yeah. Mm. Weird texture. Yeah. It feels funny in your mouth. The pastry makes it. Kind of almost not quite crunchy, but mm -hmm. green, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. And the flavor of the nuts is really, really nice. Okay. That is what, very good. You liked it? So which would you prefer of the two? 
rate which one? Well, I like them both, but I, I think I like this one better. Oh, and I like this one. This one's more like this one here. I like this one because I didn't like the texture of it. It was very good, but I didn't like the texture. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to finish eating them now. Enjoy them. <coughs> Thanks, guys. Catch us on our next dessert tasting test. We're in a local restaurant here in Saranda, and we're trying out a couple traditional desserts. The first one is called Zupa, which is, oh, I, I guess I'm going to clarify. It's my understanding from what we've been told in the restaurant that these are traditional Albanian desserts. So if they aren't, please don't beat up on us. We're just going on what we've been told. So this is Zupa. Um, it looks awesome. From what I understand, it's a combination of pudding, uh, vanilla, whipped cream, walnuts, and a layer of cake in there. And I can tell before I even try it, it's going to be good. And the other one we have here is called Shen Detli. And that is a cake with cinnamon, and walnuts, honey, and it's got a syrup, I guess, glazed on it and baked into it. So she's trying this Shen Detli. Shen Detli. The cinnamon cake. So it's probably, oh, it's very, very syrupy, honey. They told me the syrup was a big part of the recipe. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That is really good. That is very good. That's funny because it looks to me like, mm -hmm. it looks like a bran muffin to mm -hmm. me. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I like it. And it's got the token walnut on walnut. the top. That's very good. I like it. There's a lot of syrup or honey on the bottom. It's like half of it is doused, soaked up. So what's good about it? Just everything? It's everything. Mm -hmm. You almost expect it to be a bit dry because of the bran in your head. But this the syrup or honey on the bottom just soaks right up like a sponge cake. It's very good. It's got a nice balance of flavors. It's very good. You should try it. Okay. That's really good. Okay, let's see what Len thinks. But he has to speak up because we got music going in the background. It's good, isn't it? The bottom half of it is like a sponge. It's yeah. soaked up the syrup. Yeah, very good. I like it. It is very good. Okay, he seems to... You're gonna to have to take the fork away from me. Yeah, I think so. It's very good. Okay, we're gonna finish this one and then we're gonna go to the next one. So let us eat this one and we'll be right back. We are on to number two. And I get to start on the Zupa. Zupa, it's like Zupa, Zupa. Which I think I'm gonna love because I like whipped cream and this just looks delicious. Looks like a little pomegranate seed up top. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So I think a pomegranate seed. That's very good, very creamy. I was gonna say, he's gonna say creamy because that's such an yeah. obvious thing to say, right? Well, it's creamy. Yeah, but it's smooth and creamy in it. It's like a pudding. It melts in your mouth. It's like a pudding. 
it's a creamy, soft flavor explosion in your mouth. <laughs> oh, there you go, guys. Now you know what it is, what it tastes like. And my contract as a judge has just been terminated yep. by yep. the network Rescind now. it. Do you notice how many scoops he's had of that already? And he's never once said, hey, do you want to try this? No. You'll get your turn. Yeah, he's still, he's still testing it. I, it's just very good. Is that a thumbs up, obviously? Oh, it's a double thumbs up. Okay, I see he ate half of it. Okay, mathematically, that is 15%. <laughs> Okay, let me try it, see if it's as good as he says. I'm not a big whipped cream fan. So I'm gonna have to dig deep. So there's like a cookie in here too? There's supposed to be cake. A cake in there? Uh, I think it's on the very bottom. It's down on the bottom. Mm. Okay, like a truffle. Kind of soaks up the liquid, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay, I prefer the cake. This does not explode in my mouth of goodness. It's good, but no. I would, I'd rather have the cake than the explosion that Len calls it. I must be missing something he's had. We just have different taste buds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think this is like a chocolate bar on top or something. A cookie. If there was a different topping than whipped cream, would it be better? No. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to try to find out what this... It's a pomegranate seed. I've told you. That's what that is. I'm sure. Can I find out? It's a dollop of... A jelly? Mm-hmm. Like a little jelly thing. Mm. Yeah. So? It's all in the presentation. It, 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 a little cherry on top. It was so, okay. Thumbs up. Uh, oh, it's like a sideways yeah, thumb. Yeah, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably order it again. I'd probably opt for something different. Should get the cake. I would get the cake as opposed to this, but it's still okay. It's good, but I'd take the cake over this. But everybody watching, you'll just have to come here to help and Benny try and try it. it for yourself. And tell me, am I so crazy? Okay, well, thanks for joining us on our dessert. Okay, after a day at the beach, we have decided to give some more desserts a try. So we have bought two today, and we're gonna start with the Trileshi, which is like a three cream dessert. So I'm gonna give it a try and see what we think of it. And then Len, I'll try of course too. I believe the topping also is caramel. It is. It's caramel. It's very good. It's very light. And it's creamy on the bottom. Like, lots of cream. I can smell it from here. Mm -hmm. It's very... It's good. I like it. It's really light. It's oh, not, I would have thought it'd be heavy. Nope, it's light and um, it's not super sweet. It's just nice. Do you want to try it? Sure. Okay, I'm going to hang on to my spoon. Okay, let's see what Len thinks of it. And we're, of course, right by a busy side street here, so. It looks like layers. The bottom is cream. Well, and then cake and top, top. 
Oh, that is good. It's good, isn't it? That's not what I expected. No. It tastes more like, it tastes more like a candy melting in your mouth. Yeah, it's nice. It's awesome. Like this would be a nice summer dessert. It has that ice creamy thinking in your head. Like it's nice. Yeah, it melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I like that. Wow. So that is that's really a win. That's a definite thumbs that's up. That's a thumb, thumbs up, like, yep. That would be, I'd say, 10 out of 10 on that one. Okay. And you're eating from my side. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try the other dessert. So the second one is, look at that. This is Trigoni. Tridoni. No, Trigoni. Trigoni? With a G. Trigoni. 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 We'll put the spelling on the screen. Which? But look at that. All those pistachios. I'm not sure I'll like it's, this because it's got whipped cream in it. And I'm not a biggest fan of whipped cream, but let's give it a try. Len? It's uh, phyllo and whipped cream in the middle and then topped with the pistachio. pistachios. And we were told this is a we were told this is a traditional Albanian dish, but it does have Greek roots. So um Okay, so Len's just gonna eat it. So don't come after us if this turns out not to be a traditional Albanian dish. We're just going by what people say. Just cut it in half and see what it's like. Okay, let's see. Can we... Oh, it's like cream cheese or something almost. Okay. I think she said it was whipped cream. Yeah. Very mild, not very sweet, but not too sweet. Just a very nice, gentle flavor of the cream and the pistachios and the pilo. Very, very different from this. Like, this is super sweet and this is kind of medium sweet. Okay, it, how about I try it before you finish yours all up? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to hurry because it's starting to rain and Len took so long. And I'm gonna eat it this way. I don't know if this is this right way, but it just it seems like the right way to me. Probably is the right way to do it. It is mild. It wouldn't taste very good if it didn't have the pistachio. I think it would be kind of bland, but it's very flaky. Like, look at that. Very yum. It's very good, but... It, the cream, to me, tasted almost like a cross between whipped cream and kind whip, of cream cheese. Yeah, it, it's thicker than a whipped cream that we're used to. Yeah. But, no, it's good. It is very different. This isn't as sweet. No. But I think we have to end this because it's raining. So okay. we're going to finish eating these and then get out of the rain. So get you on the next one. Oh. So it's our last day here in Albania and we thought we would try one more treat. So we've got cookies and cake. So we'll do one last taste testing for our dessert post and uh, like, let's see how they are. Len, what did you get us? I got us um, these cookies, which are called kulak. 
um, and they are more, a more contemporary traditional dessert in Albania because they are associated with Enver Hoxha's uh, time here. And these are basically flour and sugar cookies um, because they were making the treats they could with the little ingredients they had during that communist time when people didn't have a lot of the basics. So this is a very simple. They're huge. They're huge cookies. <laughs> a simple um, dessert that comes from that, that time in history. Okay. The other one uh, is Raveni, which is uh, a cake uh, made with simoleon flour. And it's soaked in a lemon syrup. We've noticed that they like soaking their cakes and stuff into this honey syrupy stuff. So I'm not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> From what I understand, it's a big thing. Honey and syrup. And, and it's a big thing for the desserts to be soaked in, in syrup. And so what are you going to try first? Sauce. Um, I think the cake. The cake? Okay. Mmm. Citrusy. Oh. Almost like uh, like orange yeah, like rind a, or something yeah, in there. Yeah, like orange rinds or something like that. Maybe it maybe it's not lemon syrup. Maybe it's orange syrup. And there is small pieces of orange colored. It's very good. It's good. Just the right amount of sweetness, like not too sweet. And the syrup makes it nice and uh, smooth, and it's not like it takes. It's it's definitely not a dry cake. Okay, hey, my turn. So I'm gonna try it. Roxanne's turn with the Ravani. taste the, the citrus. I'm wondering if the honey is a citrusy honey too. It's good. It's like a, a cornmeal. Yeah. It has a, a cornmeal kind of texture or something. It's a different texture. Mm-hmm. Is it a thumbs up? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Okay. We'll finish that off and yep. we'll go to the next, we'll the, the cookies next. Tune in for the next one. So coming up are the Kadu cookies. Well, that didn't take much, much time. We finished. Now we're on to our cookie. Len will give you the first taste. Hang on. Okay. Okay. What's it I'm called again? Kulak. I just Kulak. mispronounced it a couple uh, minutes ago. Uh, it's K-U-L-A-C. Um, and keeping in mind, but before I taste this, it's gonna it's gonna be a mild taste because there's very limited ingredients. I'm guessing, but some. That's good. It's very heavy. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm surprised they're so big. Almost, not quite like a muffin, but like a muffin, but drier. Um, it's good. It's almost like 
Not quite like a sugar cookie. See? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's thick. A little more airy than a sugar cookie. But no sugar. Not like the sugar cookie has sugar. No, it's not. <laughs> it's got some sugar, but it's not super. And there's more sugar in the uh, icing. Icing. And is the icing always red? Is that how they make it? I don't know. Because all the photos we've seen are all red. Yeah. So. It might be. Okay. Might be some significance to the red. I don't know. Well, it's their color the, of their flag. The flag is red. So yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay. Well, I'm going to try now. Ah. Oh, it is much softer than I thought. I thought it would be a really hard cookie. It's kind of a hard thing to figure out because the icing is very hard, but the cookie is soft. So when you're chewing, you get the hard from the icing and the softness from the cookie. So it's a weird, mm. it's a weird thing happening. It's very mild. It's not, it, it's not, I don't know how it's to not a flavor it. explosion. No, it re actually what it reminds me of is a, a toddler's teething cookie. Mm, like a because they're sweet but not really overpowering yeah. sugar. Like it reminds me of that kind of, but not as hard. Baby crack or what do they call? Yeah. The anyway, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Or like a digestive cookie. Mm -mm. No. I'm glad we tried it. And I don't know why they're so big. They're very big. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's normally how they yeah. And they refer to it as a bread? Uh well online when I looked it up it it was referred to as like a soda bread, but maybe that's why then? Maybe they I, had it with their tea. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but at the restaurant they said yeah, it was it was referred to as a cookie, and it was very simple ingredients, just sugar, flour, and she wasn't even sure if it had egg in it. Um, it's actually pretty soft. Like it's, mm -hmm. I would, I thought it was going to be really hard. Oh, like crunchy. Yeah, like so a sugar was, cookie. Almost. Yeah, like. Um, but yeah, it was good. So yeah. that gives us what we we tried eight different desserts. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. yeah. Eight and we enjoyed them. Awesome Albanian I th desserts. Yes, I think Albania's got some good dessert. So, <laughs> let's give They're it a They're all thumb thumbs up from me. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a couple I went, eh, I would order something different. But still, I liked all the all of them in different ways. But I uh, guess we'll wrap up our... Our food tour. Our, our dessert tour of... Uh, yeah, it, this probably is not helping our sugar tooth issue, but it's been fun trying. Desserts so, never do. No, no. So we're going to wrap this one up and close off and hope you guys enjoyed our food tour, our dessert tour. Thanks for coming along. <laughs>